Jason Bourne dodges a ruthless CIA official and his agents from a new assassination pro program while searching for the origins of his life as a trained killer. Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review and this time it's on the movie The Bourne Ultimatum. This movie came out back in 2007, won three Oscars, had another 29 wins and another 42 nominations. And the main cast in this is Matt Damon, Edgar Ramirez, Joan Allen, Julia Stiles, David Strathorn, Scott Glenn, Paddy Considine, Albert Finney, Tom Gallup, Corey Johnson, Daniel Bull, Joey Anza, Colin Stinton, Dan Fredenberg, Lucy Lehman, Brian Weintz, Arky Reese, and John Robertson. Okay, so this was the last one that Matt Damon did for a long, long time. Oh yes. After this was The Bone Legacy, which I don't know if I'm going to be doing a review on, let you guys know. And then it was Jason Bourne. He came back in that one. I want to say that was in 2016, 17? I want to say that. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, this was the last one before Matt Damon left for a long time from these Bourne movies. And what do I think? To me personally, I think it finished very, very strong. Very strong. Like uh, you saw my review on Bourne Identity and the Bourne Supremacy. You know how I feel about the Bourne Supremacy. It was my most favorite one uh, so far. I still haven't seen Jason Bourne, the last one. But going on to this one... I would have to say this was actually a great continuation. A great continuation. I have no complaints about this one. None. Uh, just like Bone Supremacy, none. I think the cast overall did such an amazing job. Yes, it's an action movie. It delivers in that aspect. Very good action. Very, very good action. Graphics top notch, pretty much for its time. It, 2007 movies was was starting to come on the lines of the graphics of Lord of the Rings, 2001, 2, 3 type thing. Yeah, five years later, it took five years for them to match what they did in Lord of the Rings. Kind of, because they were finally starting to able to to do what they did. Not fully, but halfway, if you will. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, for the mo for ma majority, I still say that the graphics are still pretty damn awesome in this movie. It's based on everything else. The last thing I need to talk about is the story. Not a dull moment. Not a dull moment. I think the plot is a lot like the second one. It's a very good plot. Done. Written. Amazingly well. Amazing and amazingly well. I... Bone Supremacy and Bone Ultimatum. I, and I'm really sorry uh, about this everyone. Because I, I saw this movie yesterday. Last... Eve, evening into the night-ish and I'm only doing it now the next day and it's only due to the fact that I wound up doing stuff with a friend uh, yesterday afterwards so uh, online and then today I had walk yeah I so I just kind of became busy but yet yeah, no I I love this movie IMDb with all the users combined gives this movie an 8.0 out of 10. What do I think? Like I always said, I love this movie. And 
Truth be told, I still prefer the second one, The Bone Supremacy. But I still give this one, nonetheless, an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. That's my rating. I think it's just as good as the second one. I just prefer the second one a bit more because to me personally, I feel, to me personally, I feel like Matt Damon kind of took a step further in supremacy. In this one, he didn't really take it a step more per se. He really didn't. He just did what he did in supremacy again, which is not a bad way to go. Not a bad way to go. He was amazing in this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you love this movie or did not love this movie, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. I always love your comments whether you love the movie or hate it. You can like this video, like this review, and you can subscribe to my channel if you love my content. So thank you all for taking time to watch. Join me next time for another movie review I tend to do soon. I am out.